Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another period vlog. If you're wondering why I'm speaking kind of quietly at the moment, it's because it's currently just gone past 6.15pm in the evening and I've just put my little one to bed so they're still awake and uh, they're <clears throat> literally just next door because I only have a two bed flat. Um, so if you're not familiar with my channel before and this is the first video you're watching, this is a period vlog. This is where I basically just vlog what I'm doing throughout my period so you can see what it's like to, to have a period and the kind of normal things you can do and also how painful periods which is what I have can affect your daily life and adjustments you need to make um, but I'm also a foster carer so I currently have a child in my care at the moment um, and I will not be able to show you anything of them or give you any details about them, age, gender, anything like that. Um, so it's currently Saturday and as I've said before it's 6.15pm in the evening Today, I was kind of hoping it was going to start on Sunday. I had this really strong instinct it was going to start on Sunday, but it's it started now. Um, like, all day today I've been cramping on and off. Ever since, like, midnight last night, I think, is when I kind of started to get these little cramps. Um, and I took a basket pan then, but didn't take any pain meds. Then today I kind of rode it out until about 4.15, which is when I'd say it kind of became a bit unbearable. And it was like, no, this is too much for me to just sort of deal with. It needs, I need some meds now. So I took some ibuprofen then. And I'd say about half an hour to an hour ago, I started feeling something damp. I've got a pad on. Um, I've, got, I've got a cloth pad on in my underwear, so I wasn't worried about it. Because um, I knew it was due any time. Um, but I felt kind of damp then, but I was obviously looking after my little one, so I didn't bother to check until they got to bed. And sure enough, my period has started. So, because it's a weekend, um, I have been... Today, we just spent the day at my parents' house, um, because I... I'd already planned to with my mum, I needed to go and get a dress altered, which um, I needed some, I couldn't go by myself with my child because uh, the little one, they need entertaining and I couldn't do that by myself and then this week I just had no time to do it while they were at school. Um, so basically I needed my mum there to help me, so she came over, picked us up and we went and did that, got the dress altered because I've got a business awards um, dinner in November which I wanted to get this dress altered for. So I had to go and get that done, and then we went back to their house and just had like a lazy afternoon. And I, the thing that I noticed most about my period, like my biggest symptom, is fatigue and pain because I was so tired today. Um, and I, like I haven't, I've had a busy week, but not not more than usual. But like I slept. I want to say, oh, what's that? ouch, jeeps, been standing on some eggshell. Um, I slept in from like eleven to one. I want to say almost two, maybe sort of. 11 30 12 from there but like, I, had a, I had a long nap in the day and uh, my mum just watched them for me and took them out for a bit which was really really helpful and then we played together in the evening and then tomorrow we're supposed to be going to a steam museum but I might I might not may or may not go on that depending on how I'm feeling but my parents have offered to take them without me anyway which is really kind so because <laughs> because my period has been really regular for the last few months and it's always fallen on the weekend you guys aren't really seeing like my busy week, so I might try and extend this more into um, the weekday. And I always get the, the first days of the week clear when I know my period's due because I don't want to have too much in case I'm in pain or it's late or something. Um, so yeah, usually like our weeks, Monday to Friday, are really busy because we've got school, we've got extra activities, got appointments, meetings, all this sort of stuff. Um, and then the weekends when I spend time with my parents, um, which has worked quite well with the periods because it means they've been able to help out. Uh, but so far, <laughs> so far, um, it's meant that these vlogs kind of I think tend to be really boring or at least give the impression that I'm always at my parents house Which I'm really not I, I don't see them anywhere near as much as I used to before I started fostering So that's kind of interesting. Anyway, I'm rambling on right now. Hope you enjoyed the vlog guys Hope you stick around for it. Um, as of right now, I'm not cramping because I took those meds at 15 And we're gonna try busker pan again this period, which is what really helped my last one And just see to see how things go. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog also, seriously, the laundry is never ending. But look how cute these trousers are. I just got these, like, literally the other day. They are so freaking adorable. There's a one piece too in here, which is absolutely filthy at the moment, but so cute. I believe the brand is called Frugi, and I actually got those from Babby Purr because they were having, like, a, a, two, a three for two sale. Um, last week so I thought oh great I can actually grab some bits and funnily enough literally like two weeks before I'd seen a kid in like a shopping center I think with these re with those trousers on I thought oh my goodness they look so cool and I kept kicking myself I was like I should have asked their parent um, or care or whoever I guess I really shouldn't assume being a foster carer um, where they came from 
and then it just so happened that it's popped up on my newsfeed and I was like that looks very similar in style to these kind of trousers and I went and I found them and I was like yes they weren't too expensive too either actually I think they're around I think the trousers were around 20 pounds and the like all-in-one dungarees were 23 pounds and of course it was three for two so I only spent about 43 pounds in the end but it was oh my goodness they're so so cute um and I absolutely love them also by the way I believe in gender neutral clothing so even though you might have a hint of a gender from those clothes don't believe it because you're going to see plenty of mixed stuff around this house it's 8 30 now and I'm just going to put on this moderate flow pad to keep me going before bedtime uh, and also while I remember we've just had some new prints brought into the precious stars range so um this navy keys print which is super super cute uh, this way up high print we've had this before it's just been restocked it was very very popular and it is selling very quickly this one if you want this one you're gonna have to grab it it's going there's something like hot potatoes that one uh this red trees print which is great in time for like the holidays and stuff it's just really simple but also can be used any time of year that's another um, one there and the cats print too this is another popular one that we've had before and restocked so yeah you've got those four um new prints well two of them are new and two are all these that have been stocked so yeah you're wanting to get some more be sure to grab them while you can it's quarter past 11 in the evening now and i'm about to turn my lights out and go to sleep it's daylight savings um t tonight actually which means the clocks go back an hour so in theory theory um i should get an extra hour of sleep tonight if uh my little one sticks with their grow clock which changes from sun from sorry night to day um, and I made sure to put it back an hour so it's definitely on the right time but I don't know they might might come and wake me up beforehand you never know anyway um I'll see you in the morning morning it worked they stayed in bed till 7 15 which is when their clock goes off so I'm just really excited about that it's gonna be careful because they might come in the door um I slept in the night they did wake up actually last night which is unusual since i've got this like new duvet which has a zip down the side so it can't fall off the bed they've slept through the night since i've had that duvet they haven't like fallen up um fallen off the bed so they've slept better um i need to go and get breakfast or so in a second as you can see they're turning on the lights um yeah it, like but they woke up last night and i couldn't quite figure out why but it was okay because i was actually already kind of awake um slept other than that though i slept through the night pretty much and um yeah haven't really started bleeding yet though that's interesting so uh we'll see what today's like it's 10 a.m now my mum came around like 20 minutes ago and put my little one up and took them out for the day and i'm like yes get a full day to myself almost um can't remember the last time that happened anyway um it's great, I love them, but oh my god, it is really exhausting, you know, being a single parent. So it's really great that I have such a supportive family. Anyway, I'm currently cramping, like, kind of bad at the moment. This is, like, my, my bad wave. I'm just heating up a hot um, lavender bag, hot pad, to put on my stomach. I can hear it's done, actually. Um, just to kind of get, because the heat does help a bit. It doesn't solve the pain for me, but it does help. And then I'm going to have a very lazy day today. I've got a book I'm reading at the moment, which is by Malcolm Gladwell called Outliers. And, oh my goodness, it's so good. I highly, highly recommend this book. Um, it's just, I can't even describe it. It's just, it's so insightful as to why people who've been successful have actually been successful. And not just the hard work and determination and talent that you think about. So it's, it's just really, really good to read. Um, I've got that. Just watching something about education on YouTube, what's it called? The Ideal Education with uh, Ken Robinson, who's one of my favourite speakers I've ever come across. Yeah, just, just genuinely chilling for the day. And uh, it's actually nice that it's really sunny. So I'm hoping by the time the pain has worn off a bit later on, that I will be able to go and join my parents at their house for Sunday dinner, and then I'll bring my little one back and we'll get them straight into bed, because we've got a bit of a routine now. As I said, Sunday is usually the family day we spend together, but because, and I would have gone today if I hadn't been feeling so like crampy and everything, but just, ugh, I just feel a bit too blurry, I really need the day off, to be honest. Um, so that's what I'm doing. It's 12.40 now, I'm having a wonderful leisurely time reading my book and just sitting here being generally very lazy. Um, however, it is actually a really nice sunny day today, which means I've got a little more energy than I would otherwise have. I get really affected by the weather, um, you know, sad syndrome and stuff. So when it's sunny, like I always have more energy. I really should go and live somewhere that has more sun year round, but I do quite like England otherwise. Um, but yeah, like, so the sitting room, we could really do it clean, so I'll probably go and give that a clean at some point and a tidy up. If I feel up to, I'll head off to my parents' house. I have been cramping kind of badly for the morning. Um, 
I've been alternating between reading my book and just lying down in bed and trying to breathe the pain away, even though I've taken some pain meds for it. It's not horrendous, but it's just not, not great. Um, but yeah, like, I'd had a massive clear out of my kitchen, like, bench, a, like a week ago or so because it was just driving me mad how much stuff was piling up on it and I'm trying to go down a more minimalistic route now um minimalism has just gone everywhere and I've been looking into it more and more and just thinking actually it makes loads of sense because I hate having all the clutter around the place I mean like this is my bedroom right now you know I don't I don't think it's horrendous but there is still quite a bit of stuff out here and I'm just really curious to see like how much stuff I can actually get rid of and be perfectly happy with that. Well, some of this is business stuff actually, but once I've put it away, because I do need to hold on to that, once I've put that away, it'll look clearer anyway. But yeah, there's bits that I'm like, do I really need this? And can I get rid of it? And you know, would I feel better with it gone? And all that kind of stuff. So I'm really curious actually. I think I think over the next month or so, I might see how much I can do that because I've been more minimalistic with the toys that I've been buying. Um, not in terms of not having many, but in thinking really hard about having one type of each toy and then allowing it to be an open-ended toy that the child can play with in different ways which is very important for their development too and actually they play with it better anyway so it's it makes sense from that point of view but I think like coming seeing how successful that's been I want to move it more into like becoming more minimalistic with the flats so when you've got a two-bed flats there's not enough room to store lots of things here anyway so we will see uh anyway like I said right now I am just chilling and then might might get around to doing some tidying up later. Who knows? But first, I'm going to put on this heavy pad. This is our look for the afternoon. It's comfy. There's bird poop on my window. Great. I love it when it gets to this point with the British weather where we actually have a really nice sun, but it's kind of crisp and it's about, I think it's like 7 degrees today. So it's, it's really quite cold, but it's not super cold yet. It's I love this time of the year when it's just getting a bit crisp and nippy in the air but we've still got the sun it's the best weather that we get at this time of year one second darling i'm sitting in here little one is currently making play-doh biscuits in the kitchen and putting them on the rack because <laughs> we've been making we made gingerbread men yesterday here and uh, they absolutely loved it so currently trying to improvise this with play-doh play-doh is a big favorite of ours it's 7 30 now um and we got back home about an hour ago put my little one straight into bed and they've been zonked out ever since <laughs> um i have just finished uh, my book outliers. It was really good. I got a bit annoyed with it at the end because there's a bit in there about an education system Which is kind of pushing and saying it's good, which I think is just awful But that's my personal opinion. You might completely disagree. But other than that the book was fantastic and a really great eye-opener Definitely recommend it. Recommend it. It's late. I'm sorry. I've got period brain. Just don't even listen to my grammar at the moment um, My mom wants to read it now too and so I'm gonna switch it for the blink book that he's also written because she thinks I'll like that too so I'm Got loads of books on the moment I need to read. I'm reading one about conscious parenting, one about therapeutic parenting, and I've just finished this one, as well as all my chick flick kind of easy read books I've got. So uh, we had dinner at my parents' house, just Sunday lunch, uh, roast, boiled ham, I think, and potatoes and veg, and gravy, obviously, for me and little one, because we don't like parsley sauce. I am now just chilling. I actually need to edit a video because it's supposed to go up on Monday, so I need to do it tomorrow. Uh, need that to go up tomorrow, so I'm gonna try and edit it tonight and get it up and ready i don't usually do stuff on sundays but yeah it was very interesting because my parents had a little one for well if my mom came at 10 no she came at 9 30 actually and took them around that time not too long some, some, somewhere between then and 10 and then i went over around four so yeah a good six hours today <laughs> one of the and she, i came over and she said to me in the evening i don't know how you do it um like because they are Full on, like quite, quite challenging. I was, I was, I've benefited so much, honestly, from the break today. It really made a difference to me, and I'm so pleased and I'm so thankful I have parents that support me like that, and that have always been on board. And it's really nice to see the relationship that my little one has with my dad, because um, my dad's always been was always like the soppy one with me when I was little. He was my main carer. I'm not sure if I mentioned this before. My my mum was the breadwinner in my family. She was the one who went out to work. My dad was the one who took time off work to look after me when I was young. So he's always been more into the little kids. Um, so he gets on really well with my little one and they've formed quite a nice relationship. Uh, so that's always really nice to see. And yeah, it's just, it's got to a nice stage now with all of them. But yeah, I did think it was quite funny. Um, but 
you know, it's just, it's just, as I just go, I've got such a great support system. Anyway, I think I will pick up this vlog uh, in the morning because I've got quite a bit of work to do tonight. Hopefully I'll sleep all right too. We seem to be through the worst of the pain now. I said it's been manageable all day and I had that sleep, so hopefully I'll catch up. And um, we haven't got half time next week in our house, so little one is still going to be going to afternoon school tomorrow. So I've just got the morning. We need to do the food shopping anyway, so that'll take up some of the time. Good morning, it is almost 8am now, I've just done breakfast for my little one and they're eating it in the dining room. Um, today is, we used to have on a Monday for like the last half a term, we had a like forest school um, activity that we did on a Monday which was really great but that's now finished and to be honest it's getting a bit cold anyway for it. Um, so we haven't got that today, we've literally just got afternoon school. So this morning, I think I mentioned yesterday, I really need to go and do the food shopping, which is actually a really good thing to do with my little one because they're really good. They sit in the trolley. We had these like scanner things now that you scan the food with, so you don't have to go and do a checkout, you just go and scan it at the end. It's really great. And they like going up and down through the food and like seeing what's on there, so it's a really great entertainment for them. So actually it works quite well to do the food shopping with them, whereas before I would have probably waited until they gone to their school and then I'd have gone and done shopping but actually it's quite a good activity to do with them so we'll probably get that done a bit later on um not cramping now I haven't had to take any meds since last night it's kind of eased off so I reckon I'll probably have one more bout of mild pain today uh but it should be totally manageable so we'll leave it and we'll see but yeah other than that I've just got a bit of work to do I need to upload a video this morning I did I did manage to edit and upload that video last night so now I've just got to publish it gosh it is so misty today it's ten past nine now. I might be able to hear my little one banging against the door. They've just come in to me midnight. My fingernails. They've got. Oh, they've obviously been playing with Play-Doh and got it like all up the nails. So I need to go put a top on, which is going to be class is getting dressed for me today because these sweatpants look somewhat smart enough to pass as trousers. And then one second, my darling, and then I will be able to be just change this and be ready to go for the day. We're dressed. Hair's been brushed. I actually even managed to shower and wash it last night. Oh my God. But I haven't had the energy to do that for days. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you, I've been cramping like on and off this morning since I know like eight or so. So I did take another ibuprofen just because it's been quite uncomfortable. Um, and we do need to go and do the food shopping. Actually, my little one's just come in and been like, Are we going now? And I'm like, Yeah, we can we can go now. So I just need to finish writing the shopping list and then we'll be off and it's now really nice and sunny again. We've had really great weather the last two days, it's awesome. And the next pad I'm going to put on is this Earthshine Luxe Moderate pad with the uh, black jersey top. Uh, so just on the food shop now, on the way I realised in the car that I've got a, one second my darling, um, that we've got a like t flat tyre warning up. So I just need to, I've just got some petrol as well, so it's a very expensive shop today, food and petrol. And now I need to um, check the tyre pressure and make sure they're all okay. And this car, it's really silly, my old car used to have like the, the PSI amount on the door frame. But this one doesn't have it so I can never remember how much I need this one's tyres to be. So fortunately there's a little bit of a queue. For the machine, I'm gonna see if I can try and dig it out of the car, but that's always a bit annoying. I need to like write it on the door frame or something. <laughs> so it is almost half past one now. I have dropped my little one off at their afternoon school, so I am now free <laughs> until 5pm to do whatever needs to be done. There's, oh, there's a lot of mess over there, I'm not going to clean that up because they can play with it later. Um, I've got to finish putting away the laundry that I put out last night or the day before and bring out the duvet which I think is nearly dry now. I also really need to give the house a deep clean because I, I wanted to do it earlier just after lunch, they had porridge for lunch but like... That's what they wanted and I was like fine, you know, could could be worse things than porridge. Um, to be a porridge for lunch and I was going to clean afterwards but when I had my food I was really really hot and so I just sat down to cool off and then of course once you sit down I was like oh I'm really tired. So I am feeling a bit meh now but I really do need to get things done because we were our wellies to the supermarket this morning and so there's like mud trails all out in the hallway and some in here as well so it just, it just needs a quick vacuum. 
around the place and I need to wash up some of the dishes and then then we should be good and I can just relax and watch stuff that I want to because I did all my work this morning, got all those videos posted, everything. Um, there's nothing else I have to do. So yeah, gonna have a very chill afternoon after all the cleaning. It's just coming up to five o'clock now. Um, I need to go and pick my little one up from their school. And um, I've finished all the cleaning, managed to mop, uh, sweep all the floors and everything. So I'm really happy with that at least. And I've got a bit of time to relax too. Period wise, I've been bleeding, a little bit of cramping in the afternoon, but nothing I need to take any pain meds for. So that's been fine too. So now I need to go pick them up, come home, cook dinner, and then it'll just be quick pajamas brush teeth and bed for them because by the time dinner's ready and we've actually eaten it it'll be bedtime and then I'll be able to relax again. p.m. now and um, little ones in bed we had dinner it was leaky potato soup with a sneaky mushroom in because they absolutely will not eat mushroom but when it's in things it's fine um there's only like one or two fruit and veg that they'll actually eat at being able to see it and everything else just has to be hidden and stuff um but we're getting there you know slowly but surely we're getting there so anyway you you didn't see me but i blitzed that up and then put it in before they had it and then we went to bed, no problems, very easy tonight, actually, it was lovely, had a really, really nice night tonight, actually, when I mean, you just have those moments with your kids, it's just, it's lovely, you have conversation, you have great feeling, I don't know, it's just a, it was just a great night. Anyway, fortunately my hormonal, like, roller coaster is now pretty much finished, I'm at this point in my cycle, and I'm going to end the vlog here, so thank you so much for watching, guys, and the only thing I'm going to do now is probably have a bath and chillax before going to bed a bit later on. As I said, periods are really slowing down at this point. I won't need any more pain meds, I don't think, knock on wood, um, from now on. And the rest of this week is super, super busy. We've got like a camp for them tomorrow as well as afternoon school. And then Wednesday I have so many meetings. It's just like, oh, so many meetings. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribe. I hope you like these vlogs. They're an insight into um, what it's like having a period that can cause uh, problems will be a little bit problematic and being a foster care at the same time bit of a mix i know but you know there you go that's me i am always a little bit different thanks so much for watching guys if you like them please make sure you subscribe and like the video and go and follow me on my other socials and comment over there if you want to because you obviously have noticed you can't comment on my youtube channel youtube switched the comments off because they think i'm a minor uh but thanks so much for watching guys do please subscribe as i said before and i will catch up with you next week bye everyone